Uh, hello guys, this is G2 out here in, whoops, let's drop this down so you, well, you don't need to see that. The reason you see that, that shadow is, um, uh, that's, uh, you're on my, uh, B script. And we're out here at the post-tension slab four for our, uh, veterans' new home. And I wanted to show you what, what this process looks like and, and, uh, you'll see the, uh, the snorkel, uh, here, the cement snorkel, uh, introducing cement into the form. And you'll notice that this whole system does not have a stem wall. This is a, a floating slab, and you'll see the cabling uh, that's being buried by the, uh, by the cement. And then in a couple of days, after the framing is uh, completed, the post-tension slab crew will come by and actually tension, put tension on these cables. So I'm going to walk you through the, uh, the, the uh, introduction of the cement into the um, uh, uh, bay. The, the surrounding framework that's going to hold the cement inside the, uh, 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 the, the frame so that they can cure and then they'll start putting construction on, or uh, framing on top of it. So here we go. So we're out at the uh, we're out at a uh, at a job site and you're going to see this is a there's a big cement snorkel and there's the operator. You can see him. Uh, uh, with his uh, control, uh, remote control device, and this is uh, the, the, the man, the worker, who is actually going to direct that cement and fill this slab. Over here, you see the cement workers leveling out the cement, and here we go. He's going to start pouring the, uh, or introducing the cement. Now, this is coming up over this great big snorkel, and way out here, way out here, you can see the cement truck that's actually introducing the cement into the snorkel, and then it goes up over the top, all the way up there, comes down here, and there you see the cement being introduced into the uh, into the framing I've got a couple of cameras out here because we're actually filming this uh, for our client there's one of our cameras over there and we got another camera way out there and then we've got an iPad wherever the hell it went it's over here but it overheated so <laughs> I can't run it but here we are and they're they're putting the cement into the uh, into the framing. And again, you'll notice we'll walk down here and take a closer look at the cement actually being uh, pumped into the uh, into the framework. Now that looks like a stem wall, but it's not. It's just part of the construction process. And again, this is a post-tension slab. If you look here, those are steel cables. And the orange is a plastic sheathing, a plastic uh, sleeve that the cable actually rests inside. If you look down here, you'll see these cables coming out of the framework. And then you'll see that they traverse through the cement. Now in a couple of days, probably Monday or so, the framing is going to start on this house and it'll frame up pretty darn fast. To give you an example, that house over there, the framework began on Monday and here we are on, uh, on Wednesday and you can see how far along that is. Now that property uh, that house has not had the uh, cables tensioned yet. The slab has to cure for a couple of days, and then the tensioning crew comes out, and and then they'll they'll use uh, incredibly powerful machines that put tension on the cables to actually compress the cement 
which keeps the foundation from cracking um, as, uh, as this earth uh, heaves. We have clay, mostly clay in this area, and when clay gets wet, it expands, and when clay dries out, it contracts, and that process can cause the foundations to crack, much like Humpty Dumpty. And in order to prevent that from happening to the slab, when a home is built on a post-tension slab, or when a home is built on, on a clay uh, area, an area where ge the geology has determined that the ground is, is uh, uh, susceptible to heaving and expansion, then the requirement is that they use a different foundation system. Out here, we're using a post-tension slab. There are a couple of other systems that can be used, but uh, this one obviously is the post-tension slab, and this entire community is built uh, with the post-tension slab in place. So I don't know if we've got any questions going on because my periscope is doing periscope stuff again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Sorry, I was just uh, looking at my camera here. See me here? We're actually filming, filming the camera. So, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually stop and restart the uh, uh, the periscope, and we'll, we'll do this again when they bring in another load of cement. And hopefully, you'll be able to make some comments that I'll be able to answer. And they just stopped pouring because the cement truck over here has exhausted its, com its complete um, uh, inventory of cement and they're going to bring in another truck and continue to uh, pump cement into this area. In the meantime, these guys will keep uh, leveling out the cement that's been poured. So I'm going to end this uh, scope and then we'll fire up another one here shortly.